This is going to be a quick video on semantic versioning. Uh, you can go to simver.org and look up the specification for semantic versioning. Uh, the basic idea is you have a major version and then a dot and then a minor version, a dot and then a patch version. Okay, what do these mean? A major version is when you make an incompatible API change. So if I change my program such that it fundamentally changes how a user can use it and it, it would break their code if they upgraded then I increment the major version portion of my semantic versioning right minor version upgrade would be if I added functionality but I did not break any backwards compatible functionality okay so if I added functionality but if they upgrade they're not it's not going to cause any problems with their their software okay <clears throat> so it's always safe to upgrade minor version patches or, and and the patch the third one here the last number after the second dot patch uh, this is when you make uh, bug fixes basically sometimes there are errors in your code and you need to uh, add you know add some bug fixes in there so uh, let's take a look at what this might look like uh, functionally all right, so I'm on my desktop. I have Adam open, and let's make a quick Python program. So new file, this would be simver.py. And um, I'm gonna add the hash bang. I'm gonna go ahead and change the mode to executable. I'll import sys. And the idea here is I'm going to uh, have a, a version argument. Okay, so I'm going to pass in uh, you know, this, this concept. When I r run this program, I'm going to run simver hyphen hyphen version, right? I'm going to pass in this version argument. Okay, so I need to get my arguments uh, sys dot argv is the argument vector and that's going to include the program name I don't need the program name so I'm going to take a slice from the first item uh, just after the first item to the end of the list and so that'll remove uh, the program name from my argument list and I'm just going to store that in a variable called args and so now theoretically I will have hyphen hyphen version in my list of args so we can do that real quick print that out and see if that's the case okay so this is my program three lines very simple and sure enough hyphen hyphen version is in here so what I can do now is I can check to see if version is in my args list then I can print out some version number of my program, right? And I could say it could start out the first time I do this program. This is version uh, 0 0.01. Okay, this is not an official release, so we start out at zero. We haven't even had a minor version yet. This is just the very basic uh, initial uh, program, right? So this is 0 0.01. All right, so I save this. And I can run this, and sure enough, I print out version, hyphen hyphen version as the argument, and 0 0.0.1. All right, what if I want to use a shorthand version of uh, this argument? All right, so the shorthand uh, would be hyphen v, probably. All right, so if the longhand version is in my arguments or the shorthand version, in args. Uh, if either one of these is true, I'm going to print out my version. All right, but now I've changed my program. Previously, you know, it worked. Version one, let's say, is this. All right, this is version one. The program works as expected, but I'm going to add functionality. All right, that program works fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this file and. Uh, I might call 
this 0 0.0.1. 0 .0 All right, now I'm working on version 2. 0 .0 0.0.2. And in this version, I'm going to add functionality. I'm going to include the hyphen v argument. So if the argument is hyphen hyphen version, or the argument is hyphen v, either one of these should work and display the version. Uh, so if hyphen v is in args, if either one of these is true, then I'm just going to print the version. And also, I should probably exit the program. I'll exit with a status code 0 because the program is doing what it's supposed to do. If you give it the version uh, argument, it should print out the version, and that's what it does. All right, so this is version 2. Let's test this. OK, so uh, hyphen hyphen version still works. What about hyphen v? That works. OK, so we're at a good spot. This is a, a successful program. Everything works as expected. So we can go ahead and save this and, and save a backup. All right, so let's duplicate this, and we'll call this 0 0.0.2. All right, so back to our original semantic versioning file. Uh, let's make this a little bit more robust. Let's add, in all caps, a version variable. And this is going to be the version variable that we increment. So this is going to be 0 0.0.3. And instead of modifying this, this string way down here in this if statement, at the top of my program, we're just going to have the version right up there at the beginning so everyone knows what the version is as soon as they open this file. This is the version of my program. And I'll print out version. Now, the reason I'm using capital letters here is because uh, this is a constant variable. Now, I know that sounds like an oxymoron. A constant variable is a variable that you set and you never intend it to change after you set it. Okay, so constant variables don't change throughout the duration of the execution of the program. Now, I can copy this file, and every time I copy the file, I'll change this version number, right? That's fine because it's a separate file. But as soon as I run the program, any, uh, and this is just a convention, uh, any variables in all caps are considered constant variables. Uh, what are good examples of constant variables? Um, things that don't change, right? Like the, um, the number of bits in a byte, uh, or eight bits in a byte, the number of centimeters in an inch, that's like 2.54, right? Those are constant values. They're never going to change. You never in your program want somebody to change what the uh, conversion between inches to centimeters are. That would be a bad thing if anybody changed that. Okay, So if you have a variable that you want to sort of label, you're going to label it with the variable name, but you never want this to change, a way to signify that is just to use all caps. And that's just a convention that's used in a lot of uh, computer programming languages. Okay, so in this case, the version throughout the duration of the execution of our program will never change. Now, if we, if we, you know, create a new version of this program, then we will increment that version. But whenever that program runs, version never changes. It's always the first, you know, whatever it was set to initially, we never set it again. So there's never another assignment. Okay, so that's constant variable declaration. All right, so here, uh, this is a pretty good uh, basic introduction to semantic versioning. Right, everything works as, as expected. We didn't add uh, any functionality that would break existing functionality as we version things. Right, the first, first program, hyphen hyphen version, worked. Right, and the second program, that still worked. That's what backwards compatibility means. Right, it worked in the previous version and it still works now. Right, here, hyphen v is the new functionality. Right, and in the third version, hyphen v still works. We just made everything a little bit nicer. All right, and then you know you could have something like here, you know, print done. So if we include 
the hyphen hyphen version argument or the hyphen v argument, it's going to print out the version of our program and then exit. And we will not see this. This is the normal execution of the program, right? Right, and we're just printing done for that. That could be any number of things. So if we run this, we can double check. Simver dash v, that works. Dash version, that works. And what if we have no arguments? That works. Okay, so that's sort of the basic idea behind versioning, and it's very important because it allows you to save your progress. Sometimes you, uh, as a developer, will bite off more than you can chew and uh, change a whole bunch of code and then you can't get it working back to the state that it was originally. If you snap off versions like this, you know, save backup files uh, and version them, then it's a lot easier to fall back to you know, a previous working state. Okay, so versioning becomes very, very important. This is a very simplistic way of versioning by just duplicating files, but it's it's perfect for our needs. We don't need, um, you know, very complicated versioning systems. Uh, but the idea of the semantic versioning, where you have a major uh, patch or a major number, a minor version number, and a patch number, that's common in a lot of different uh, ecosystems. NPM, for example, uses this almost exclusively. So this is used in a lot of different places. Uh, it's just it's just one way of versioning, but it's common and it's it's a good one to know. So uh, I think that's enough on semantic versioning.